Hi, my name is Sasha. Welcome to the mothership. So I wanted to talk quickly this morning. Yes, it's four in the morning. This is how we get down. Um, I wanted to talk quickly a little bit about uh, grid working. Many of you are grid workers. Um, some of you have asked me questions about what this is. This is working directly with Earth's energy field, with her ley lines, with her energetic body. Um, and when you come to a place within yourself where you are adept at working with your own energetic system, this becomes, I think, even a greater role. Um, if you're a light worker, or earthy angel, you are naturally probably already doing this, um, maybe even unconsciously. But when you work with the Earth's energy grid, you can do this remotely, but you can also do this physically. Many of you will be called to certain areas. Uh, certain activation places where your energy is activated and also you assist in doing healing with the earth with her ley lines and uh, this these can be any types of places that you might feel drawn to when you begin to remove the negativity within your subconscious and get your own alignment and begin hearing your own higher wisdom as well as uh, that of your guidance team this is where they may begin directing you to certain areas of the planet to do this type of work. Um, an example from my own personal healing journey, the last uh, few months especially, I've been doing massive amounts of grid working. And this is uh, going to particular places, uplifting any type of negative frequency. Uh, these can be areas where there's been even a lot of bloodshed on the planet. This can be areas that um, have had a lot of toxicity for whatever reason. And these are also places on the planet that have um, activation portals and different frequencies of energy. This is working with Earth's ley lines and her energetic system. So when I um, have been doing this work, I've also been doing my own personal healing work. And uh, my guidance team has been not only showing me areas to go to, uh, but recently they have been directing me to go to areas that I've lived in where I've personally experienced a lot of trauma and just kind of rewriting my story. And it's been very healing and it's assisted me in uplifting um, some fragmented timelines that were especially embedded in my heart chakra. So it was very, very healing and very cool. Um, I experienced a lot of I just call it divine orchestration and this is when you're fully aware of what you're doing in your healing um, for instance I knew a particular timeline I was working on uplifting and in that timeline when it happened I didn't receive the support I needed in working through my life lessons and so when I was rewriting my story um, my guidance team actually brought in other people as I was uplifting this energy and releasing it um, to help me to rewrite that story. Um, I might share more on this later, but today's video is mostly about uh, the grid and working with the grid system. So a couple things you might have noticed, if you are a light worker of any kind, you may just be pulled to certain areas on the planet. And you may also do this consciously. Many of you uh, probably have crystals and things like that and when you bring higher uh, light and encodements down through your particular body and into the earth this also helps to accelerate. So I just challenge you all to um, work closer with the earth. This is a time where she is accelerating and really moving uh, quickly into a new position and anchoring herself in her new evolutionary phase. Um, so everyone on the planet will be experiencing heightened ascension sim symptoms. And uh, for many of you who are very sensitive, many of you who are empaths, this is a time where you are going to need more integration time. You're going to need more uh, physical care and emotional nourishment and things like that. So. Uh, just take good care of yourselves and uh, stay beautiful.